Monster Tech, where every day is a quest to find the newest technology and video games. With this being a new channel, we really appreciate your support. So do us a favor and like, subscribe, share, and comment below. And here we go. Hey friends, welcome back to Quest for Tech. Today we are going to give a review over the Miko 360 degree foot massage. They say it's like getting a spa grade massage in your own home. Let's go ahead and see if that's true. First, we're gonna go ahead and take a tour of the unit. The flashing blue light right here is our power button. It automatically starts with a timer of 20 minutes. To get the different settings adjusted, this button here, when you have it on that one bar line, it's just vibration. When you choose two, it's gonna be vibration and the rollers. When you have it on all three, it'll be the vibration, the rollers, and the compression air pressure. This button right here is the setting for the vibration. The squiggly lines up and down is your heat setting. And the actual up and down buttons here in the middle is going to be your air pressure buttons. And then to turn it back off is the power button here. And here we have the remote. It's just magnetic to this little circle space right here on the unit. If you try to put it anywhere else, it doesn't stay, only right there. And you have the same exact setting buttons on the little remote as you do on the unit itself. All right, so on each of the sides here are the air pressure bags for each of the feet. And then in this main area here are where the rollers are and then also the heat comes from by the rollers. And then down here at the base is where the vibration comes from. It does say that it fits up to a size 15 shoe size for your feet. You can also do your calves in here as well. So the great thing is this arm here, it'll let you adjust it to whichever height you need it to be. So that way you can also do your calves if you didn't want to do your feet. And you can even lay it completely flat. So if you wanted to do it while laying in bed on your calves, you could do that too. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on to see how it feels. As I place my feet into the unit, I'm gonna have the back of my heel against where I showed that the vibration starts. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it be all three settings at the same time to start. It says that it initially starts on setting three for the air pressure. If that's too tight, you can always turn it down to one. And they also say it is normal for your feet to feel a little sore after your first few initial uses. So you have the vibration going, you have the rollers going, and you have the airbags going. And the airbags can also move um, from side to side in a swaying action, they say. You can actually hear the air when it's filling up and as it releases kind of reminds me of when you go to the doctor and you get your blood pressure checked. It honestly, at the initial settings that they have right now, it's a very gentle, nice, soothing massage. I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the air pressure. And you can actually see that it fills up even more when I turned it up. And with turning up the air pressure, it definitely is enclosing my foot more and putting my foot more pressured on the rollers 
to give a more intense massage. So if you had a really long day and your feet are very achy, I would say go ahead and turn up the air pressure to where it feels most comfortable for you. You don't want to overdo it because if you put it too tight, then it's not going to be as relaxing and soothing. Also, if you have larger or smaller feet, you could always adjust your feet when it's in there. However, you don't want to do it when the air pressure bags are completely full. It makes it a little hard to move your feet. And then you can also adjust the positioning to have it where the air pressure really gets on your calf more if you need it to be. Because when you have it all the way at the bottom, at least for my feet, it doesn't really get to my ankle. So when you adjust it, you can have it more on your ankle if need be, getting your toes, getting your arches, or focusing more on your heels, depending on the foot placement. And if you don't like heat, you can always turn the heat off. And the remote really comes in handy. So if you're sitting with it and wanting to be watching TV or anything, and you don't want to be bending over every time you need to adjust the machine for anything, you know, you can just easily use the remote. Whether you want the heat, adjust it to a different massage setting. If you want the rollers more intense or the vibration more intense. If you need to adjust the air pressure up and down. Or if you've had enough and the timer's not up yet, just hitting the power button. And if you hit the power button while it's in motion, it'll automatically deflate the air pressure bags. The timer is a 20 minute timer. You can always turn it off before the timer's up or you can turn it back on once the timer's up. The massage is definitely a nice relaxing massage. I really like the fact that you can adjust the massagers, whether or not you want the heat on or off, and the air compression. I really like the air compression to be tight on my feet, but I know other people don't like it as tight. So I like that it's fully customizable to what fits me. So overall, I would give this a four star rating for an awesome design being able to have the 360 degrees to angle it to fit however I want to use it being able to adjust the different pressures it being a soothing massage and not overly intense I would definitely highly recommend getting this Miko massager all right friends that's all we have for you today thank you so much for watching and don't forget we are still running our subscriber contest all you have to do to win a $20 Best Buy gift card is subscribe to our channel and leave a comment and let us know what you would like to see us review in the year 2021 we appreciate you. Thank you all so much for questing with us. Stay safe. Peace.